Hey guys, I uh, just thought I'd make a quick video on wave terminology, but before that, just want to do a quick recap uh, on the two types of waves that we touched on uh, in the previous video. We talked about transverse waves and longitudinal waves. So what are waves? Waves basically transverse energy from one point to another point. You can see the direction of energy transverse, right? Um, whereas, uh, and the differences between these two waves will be that transverse waves, the particle motion, actually move perpendicular to my wave direction. Whereas a longitudinal wave, the particle motion seen by this line is moving in a parallel direction to the direction of wave motion. Okay, with that in place, uh, let's just go straight into another simulation. All right, so uh, what do we have here? We've got a, uh, we've got a wave, which is a, a disturbance. I'm actually doing the disturbance here on the left. And you can see the wave actually moves from left to right, but each particle is not really moving from left to right, right? And what we know in the last video is actually moving in an up-down motion, so it's perpendicular to my direction of wave motion. So what sort of wave is this? That's right, it's a transverse wave. Okay, so we're just going to change a couple of things here. Okay, so what is this amplitude? Let's just see if I want to change this from high to low. Oh, see what happens to the wave? Low to high. High to low, low to high. So basically, amplitude is simply just the maximum distance or from of each particle from the rest position. This horizontal line is the rest position. Okay. And another thing is over here I can change is the frequency. So from low frequency, I want to change to high. See what happens to the wave. Boom. Whoa. Check it out. Okay. Basically, what's happening? As I increase it to high frequency, it only means that. That's right, the number of waves you can see previously when it was low frequency, there's only about three or four peaks for this fixed distance. Whereas for high frequency, that means there's many more peaks, at least about eight to ten peaks for the same distance, right? So that's basically for frequency, low frequency, less occurrences, high frequency, more occurrences. Okay, and you can see wavelength here. Wavelength here, long wavelength, it simply means the length between the peak of the wave, consecutive peaks or consecutive bottoms of the waves. Okay, so let me just freeze this wave, uh, show a couple of labels here. Okay, so amplitude here, this is actually my amplitude, the distance from the rest position to the top. Frequency is just the number of occurrences per unit second, number of occurrences of waves. So what kind of waves are we talking about? Oh, we are talking about wavelengths. So what are wavelengths exactly? Wavelength is simply the distance between, because length is the distance, right? So it got to be distance between uh, the peak of a wave or the bottom of the wave. So the peak is also known as a crest, the bottom is known as a trough. Okay, so with that, uh, let's just go straight into uh, these graphs. Uh, two graphs I'm going to show you. If you ever played one of those um, where you spot the difference in the pictures, just going to give you three seconds to spot what is the main difference between these two pictures, and between these two graphs rather. Yeah. Okay, you right there behind. That's what's the difference. You are correct. Okay, the main difference is Boom, check this out, okay? You can see that one of them, both of them, similarity, they are displacement graphs. It shows the, the distance, the particle is from the rest position, but the horizontal axis shows you, the top one shows you the distance from, from the uh, point of disturbance, and the next one is actually the time. Okay, it shows you the time uh, from, uh, time equals to zero. So in other words, the top one is actually a snapshot, whereas the bottom one is actually a sequential. You know, the time is actually moving. Okay, so what 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 main difference what differences do these two graphs actually show? Okay, you can see uh, amplitude is the same, okay, but the main difference here is that with the distance for a peak to peak also known as from a crest to crest, known as the wavelength, right? So the wavelength is denoted by this symbol here, called lambda, all right? And over here is also a wavelength, but it's not the distance. This is the time taken for one wavelength. And the definition of that will be the period, okay? So this one is wavelength in the displacement distance graph. And whereas this part here 
is actually the period okay for a displacement time graph okay so what's the significance of all this okay so just to rearrange this okay if i were to have uh, the frequency remember we talked about frequency of waves frequency of waves is the number of waves per second so in other words we come to our first equation the frequency is one second divided by the time taken for a for a particular wavelength to occur which is the period okay so this is my first equation in the entire wave chapter okay and the last equation has got to do with the basis of speed equals distance over time okay so speed of wave equals distance traveled divided by time taken so what's the distance can you fix a particular distance so if, if i fix the distance will be the wavelength divided by what's the time taken for one wavelength so it's wavelength divided by period so time taken wavelength divided by period and if you can see one over period it's actually known as my frequency right so boom i can just replace that with v equals f times lambda this is known as my wave equation so basically these two equations can they are very useful they'll help you solve a whole array of problems and uh, we'll just uh, do a couple of exercises and okay i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys in the next